You need to experience Jesus Christ in your personal and private life so that you can make him known as you relate with your family, community or nation. You need to experience Christ Jesus in your private life to make him known in your public life. Our circumstances and situations may change, but one thing you must know is that Jesus Christ never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. One time you might feel you're on the mountaintop. Next time you might find yourself in a valley. Remember, you walk with divinity. You have greatness inside of you. Paul puts it beautifully. He says, what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. God lives inside of you. Remember what would happen in the tabernacle of meetings when Moses would go and speak to God. A cloud would discern and a voice would be heard speaking to him. Right now as children of God, our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are in the presence of God Almighty. His angels minister to us. Read Hebrews chapter 1 verse 14 and Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5 that affirms what I've just said about being the presence of God and that his angels minister to us. You need to know who you are and whose you are in Christ Jesus. That should inspire your attitude as you face whatever you are facing today. Know your position as a child of God. We are seated with Christ Jesus in heavenly places. The enemy is under our feet. Don't fear the enemy that seeks to accuse you. Don't fear the enemy that wants to intimidate you. Be reminded every time that Jesus Christ is with you. I'm reminded of a time when Peter, James and John were led by Jesus Christ to a high mountain and there were there alone. Jesus gets transfigured right in front of them. Read Mark chapter 9 verse 2. They were amazed at the glory and Peter afraid just says, Rabbi, this is a good place to be. He wants to pitch a tent so that they can rest right there. But they had work to do below the mountain. But I want you to get this lesson. On the mountaintop, they hear a voice and the voice says, this is my son whom I love. Listen to him. Listen to him. Remember what Mary says about Jesus before the miracle of turning water to wine? He says, whatever, as he tells the servants, whatever he tells you to do, do it. I want to emphasize this. Listen to the word. Whatever the word says, do it. Jesus Christ is the word. Please heed. Listen to the word. Listen with an intention to obey. If it's an instruction, obey it. If it's a promise, trust that it will manifest. May Jesus Christ lead you. May he shepherd you. May he guide you. I want to close with Hebrews chapter 1 from verses 1 to 4. I want to read. God, who at various times and in various ways spoke in times past to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom also he has made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory, the express image of his person, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become a much better than the angels, as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. Father, I thank you that you, Lord Jesus Christ, will shepherd us. I know, Father, that you know what's better for us. I thank you that you sent your son Jesus to die for us on the cross so that we can have access to your gracious throne. May we be ever conscious of your presence all the time because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross for us, being that perfect substitute who took our sins away, who took our place so that we can no longer be alienated from you. As we approach your throne, may we be ever conscious that you are present Yes, says God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, you are present. And Father, thank you for the illustration on the Mount Transfiguration where we see the prophets of old standing right there and Jesus Christ there. And you speak in an audible voice that this is my son. Listen to him. We thank you, Father, that the word of God reveals who you are. And Christ, who is the word, became flesh, lived amongst us, radiated your glory. Thank you, Father, that right now as we take a hold of your word, as we let your word guide us, as we listen intentionally to your word, we thank you that we will manifest your glory as Jesus Christ manifested your glory on earth. Thank you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that wherever we go, your kingdom will be manifest. 
Jesus is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. His kingdom will manifest through our lives. He heads us. He guides us. Doesn't matter what all the powers of hell try to do. He's building his church. He's building me as a member of the body of Christ. He's building you as a member of the body of Christ. Wherever you are, I want you to be encouraged as we pray. To be bold and to be strong and to be courageous and manifest his glory. Unapologetically and unashamedly. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's healing in the name of Jesus. There's deliverance in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen.